This is gross. We are about, we're live on Instagram. Yay. Let's see about Facebook. We are live like on Facebook. Yay. Muted already because I'm brilliant. Boom. Oh, what were we doing over there? There Dragon. we go. There we go. GDP Live, we're here. Uh, we here. It is Wednesday, uh, February 24th. If you're listening right now, if you're watching right now, please, uh, if you haven't already and you like the audio only episodes, make sure that you go and download the episode wherever you like to get your uh, podcast because that one will be going down as soon as this one is over. So I can put that up uh, as soon as I get done uh, finishing the audio only uh. file <laughs> and I will have that up. So if you want, if you haven't already listened to the episode, it's in your feed right now. Download it right now. You will have it saved for later on so I can put up the other one and you guys won't miss out. Uh, Monday's show is a lot of fun. Uh, Wednesday's show is going to be a lot more fun. I got to pop in at the end of it. Yeah, you did. That was a lot of fun. fun. Um, we are a little bit late today, uh, mainly because I was setting up a security camera for it was our for our kitty kitty pp security that's <laughs> essentially i guess that's kitty it PP security. we're setting up the kitty pp security cameras <laughs> and when uh, he i was sitting on the bed um and he brought that in and i was like oh hey what's going on <laughs> and he was like uh this is to catch and i was like oh i gave him a round of applause i thought that was genius it's such a good idea because mm -hmm. i have to say last night i was kind of sad why because I understand why you're upset and you have every right to be upset. It's not, I don't know if overreacting is the right, I don't know, but I just felt bad because we don't know that it's Chloe and you were like tormenting her and I get I it. I was not tormenting her. I you was were chasing, chasing her. her around the house. Right. Cause I was pissed off. Yes. I know you were very angry. And again, every right. But then I just felt sad. Cause I'm like, what if it's Stanley? Okay, but and you're the, and but he's still he's doing that because of her making like it's they're competitive like they need that like just fuck like I don't understand it you didn't like Dobby, but like she was used to Dobby yeah just like it, we got Dobby a couple like maybe a month after we got her so it was very right. so it, it, and there wasn't as much like so I I, I guess like the the issue is basically the <clears throat> like giving either one of them up isn't a like a legitimate answer no 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 so no. like it, it's so like they have to get it yeah like, that's the thing right. it's like, <laughs> I, I, I don't mean to like get biblical or anything but like i hold domain over you yes like you are yes. but a, a creature of this earth <laughs> we could have you killed we like love that. these creatures of the earth very much very very much too much and like that's the thing <laughs> too much is, is is the fact that like is it, it has gotten to a point where like i i'm like I don't mean to sound like like the worst villain in most movies, mm -hmm. but there is like, but like you, like I have given you nothing but the fucking best. You are treated way too well for a fucking animal. You're a <laughs> beast. You want to be an animal? I'll show. Like that's essentially chasing them around. Yeah, is essentially you. Okay, we're we're animals. Let's yeah. all be animals. We'll <laughs> all be animals. This is what it's like if I'm an animal. No, no, no. You're in a human's household. You will abide by human rules. Yes. When we say this is the way we want our bed to smell and feel, that's the way we want. That's the only smell we want. When when we lay in it and we're not pissing in it, that's what that's what we're saying. Like <laughs> we want this to be a non piss zone. So, yes, maybe to clarify, maybe to do whatever. But if maybe this is uh, the direction that we need to go. So if it's. Uh, if it's him for some reason, I don't think See, it is. But, right. But with him, if it is him, he hasn't been neutered yet. So there's still like there's hope. Right. And there's still if hope. it's her. It's like hopefully him getting neutered would help with that. Yeah. Because when um because we bought um just before the show a diffuser that's supposed to release a hormone that helps them not urinate on everything or like it's want a, to mark everything a piss diffuser yes so it's a and we got a calming one which uh i it, think maybe it helps like they've done pretty well it was it was 
it was hectic every time they were near each other. Yes. Er, very early on for it seemed like for forever pretty, for a while. <laughs> so then we got the diffuser thing and they said, give it seven days to, to, to yeah. start working. And on literally on the seventh day, we had a very noticeable difference in their interactions. Yeah. Like to where like we were like, how long has it been? Oh, shit. It's been seven days. Yeah. Like we didn't yeah. go. Oh, it's been seven days. Look, they're different. Like, right. We it was just like, kind of like, whoa, they're different. It and wasn't like it a was... placebo effect. It was one of those things of like, oh, fuck, like, holy shit. And so, then like two nights ago, they were both on the kitchen table together looking yeah. at each other yeah. like they noticed just standing each other. next to each other. And yeah. I was like and I was scared. because I was sitting at the table and I'm like, I might get my face ripped off right now. So I was kind of like, I'm not going to make any sudden movements. And Pat and I just like made eye contact, looked back at the cats and we we're like, OK, all right, this is a good step. And at that point, no one had peed in the bed. Yeah. So we were like, oh, man, we were feeling good. We did it. And then 20 minutes later, yeah, Pat goes into the bedroom and there's piss on the bed. And I, I've noticed I, I've noticed it happen where a lot of times where Chloe will just run downstairs and then run back up. And then later on, when I go down there, there's a piss stain. Yeah. When there's a piss stain on the bed. So maybe it's both of them. It could be yeah, both of them pissing know. on the bed. Yeah. But that's the thing is with him, it could be just <laughs> uh, a thing where, oh, we're going to get him neutered and then he'll be less territorial mm -hmm. and then whatever. Because really, in for the most part, he does chase her away from the other places when we're there. And that's why I was saying if we weren't here more, I think it would be a little, a little bit more, different. But yeah, that's true because they would get they they have to coexist, but yeah. it's about it's about his reaction to like protecting us to from us. her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's weird. But, yeah, like they're but, in competition, so he's like. But it made me feel so bad. Like I really genuinely felt bad, and I actually had a dream about Davi last night. Oh yeah, like it really affected me. I yeah. was like, I woke up crying because <laughs> I was like, oh, Davi, I miss Davi. Yeah. He brought a lot of peace to this house. <laughs> he did. <laughs> but, um, but so then when you brought the camera in to catch him, I'm like, oh, okay, now I feel good. Like, because if it is, if it is like, then we know exactly who's doing it. Yeah. And then if you want to chase Chloe around, <laughs> fuck it, do it, do whatever right. you got to do. And then if it's him, there's a little bit of hope that hopefully after he gets neutered, then it'll stop. Well, I mean, but that's it. That, we'll see. Yeah, that's that's the only hope is is that eventually it'll get to a point where they have uh, they have they're coexisting enough that and they're and they're like I like again we don't need them to fucking like cuddle yeah. with each other or anything like that. But they've coexisted, and that's and that's the point. It's is if it's him, it's it's a thing where like he's a he's a a kitten, like he's yeah. new to being a cat. He's like <laughs> yeah. he's new to life, you know. <laughs> So he's it's still it's could just be yeah like again like every once in a while I don't think he's attacking her I think he's like playing with her or he gets startled by her or something he runs at me and plays with me you know what I mean like he he's the the Catch size your face tries to take your glasses off yeah yeah he, he he's not crazy. he's not like a he likes to be a little rough but he hasn't like even had the opportunity to be rough with her like right she, they she, like over yeah, she yeah, yeah. reacts like I don't even want to be near you. Mm -hmm. so it and it could be like the hormones that he's giving off as like right. like what the fuck are you just you know being a male cat and all yeah. this stuff so i i, it, I don't know it could be we'll that see. but it's a, a situation where i don't know i guess this is how we handle it going forward but i don't know how to prevent it aside from trying those like diffusers yeah, like, yeah we'll there's a it, spray yeah. there's a thing everybody always says but like it, it's literally there's no options and that's and that's the point is him being hormonal or whatever if it's her it's a literal choice yes and she's the only one that's ever done stuff like that we have now that's granted, true. we haven't had a kitten here mm -hmm. at this house and i don't think they really necessarily did it in our old house where they sprayed in different spots no. i think zeke tried or whatever but like but for them but he was yeah you know, we've never had knock on wood I mean, we have an issue right now but yeah this is the first time we've ever had an issue with cat spraying all well, of our cats have it. So it it could just be if it, it is her, it's a thing where like you ha you are civil with him. You do share spaces with him. Yeah. This is just a choice. If you're showing us that you're upset, I'll show you that I'm upset. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I don't give a shit. I'll put you in your in your carrier and I'll put you on the back porch. Yeah. I'll you know what I mean? Like and I'll and I'll cover you with that sheet that you're pissing on. 
to keep you warm. So <laughs> if you like a pissy bed, there you go. There's your pissy bed outside. You yeah. you want to do that? That's where you can do that. But that I, I don't want to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. There's no. I don't know any other way aside from, like it, it's a. I, I guess that's the thing is like you want to be like it's not a humane way to do it. And I don't suggest, I don't recommend anyone doing it, but it is still unfortunately effective is the, you know, like, like putting their nose to it yeah, and yeah, showing yeah. them like, no, this like for dogs. Yeah. And then putting them outside with like a, a paper towel or something with that thing sitting outside. Like this is where that goes. Yeah. You piss out here. Like yeah. that's how it's going to go in this house. Whereas a cat is more yeah. like, no, that's not how it goes. Like, yeah. yes, <laughs> I, I, I hate to inform you. You get free reign still. You get to sleep wherever you want. You get to do whatever you want, essentially. I'm saying the only where the only place you piss is here. Yeah, that's the only rule here is this is where the bathroom goes. That's bathroom. That's eating. And then what else? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Any other comforts or anything like that? I'm. Yeah, well, we're happy to buy any kitty castles you want, <laughs> any pet beds, anything like over and over again. We will pamper the. You can fuck tell this is a cat house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. there is so much for them to do. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like, <laughs> is if this is literally you just saying like I don't really like this. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, I don't really. I you know, and I, if if at all I could ever have, if I could ever speak cat, I would like to speak it now just to be like. I'm, br yeah. I'm breaking it down to you. I'm not playing around. <laughs> like if you keep doing this, I will put you down. Like I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do and I'll do it with my bare fucking hands. So I don't have to pay. I for thought it. you were going to last night. Like it, it gets, and I don't know that she knows what you do for a living now. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't know how easy I can <laughs> make her disappear. <laughs> There's plenty of room on that shelf. Motherfucker. <laughs> Like that, that's the thing is that's like it, the Chloe Davi. <laughs> uh, yeah, the 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 Chloe should have known better. Davi Waberson Memorial Cat. Like, <laughs> uh, we got a pound and off pounded. lots of pounding off the chat. Thanks again for joining us on GDP Live uh, at Baby Mermaid Productions on Instagram. You can type along or you can ask to join, which means you'll be audio only on the show uh, later on because I do delete the video from Instagram later on. Uh, on Facebook, you as well, you can comment along uh, on, on YouTube. Pound off. We love some post pounding. Mm -hmm. If you post pound, we'll read it. I'll catch up. I get the notifications. I know who's pounding off. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, but we got Casey pounding off here. And again, thank you so much, Casey, for joining. Uh, what's the normal length of time? Uh, wait, what is this? To acclimate. To acclimate two house cats, two months. Um, I... When I looked it up and I've done a lot of reading, it's kind of I don't remember Googling that. I remember Googling pretty much the same things that you did. You can. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, uh, I've read that cats don't respond to the type of retaliation like dogs. Yes, yeah, I yeah, definitely. Yeah, read yeah. That, They're like, not going to. No. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. Well, that's what I'm saying is like I'm, I'm I'm speaking to her like I'm saying words to her, but I'm like, I know you don't understand. But like she gets it. There was one time where I went into the room. There was a big piss stain on the bed. And I was just, and she was sitting over by the heater and I looked at her and I just stared at her like the, I just was like, and I looked at the bed and I looked at her and I looked at the bed and I looked at her <laughs> and I was like, and I just had my eyes super wide and she ran away. Yeah. Like she knew immediately. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I pissed him off. You know, like, so, and, and that's unfortunately the thing. Chloe is the only cat that we've had. I think that I've ever owned where I've taken her in multiple times for strictly behavioral uh, uh, acts. Like she, she, she did the pissing on different things before and we took her to the vet and she, they're like, yeah, we don't, this is just about yeah. something different. <laughs> like, like, okay. Do you know what? And like, she didn't piss on the bed. I don't think it was on like clothes and she was showing me. So I thought it was, cause she did I it in front was, of you. Yeah, I thought That's it was why. like her yeah. showing me, like, I have a problem. I'm that I don't normally do this. That's why I'm doing this to show you there's something weird. And I right. go, okay, I'll take it. Good. We job. ended up taking the wrong cat. We, d we discovered that she was talking. probably, we think that she was warning us about whatever was happening with because Dobby. literally like the next day, Dobby started acting a little different. Yeah. And but then, we like, but we just ran and took Chloe to the vets who were like, Oh, let's just keep an eye. It was like the, the main three things I read for um, animals is uh, before you take them to the vet is are they eating? 
um, drinking water and going to the bathroom, both urinating yeah. and pooping. And then, and then just and generally he was doing all of those things. And he wasn't doing anything differently. So no. we're like, he was okay. letting us pet him. So we just kind of let it go. And then and she didn't do that anymore either. She didn't do. No, the, the she thing. didn't pee so again. Like, was it was there like a thing of like him? <laughs> that could be us just reading into it. But, but it's, it's the time. <laughs> literally, the timing of it. Is, yeah, it was is odd. crazy. Yeah. And and to give our cats that much credit. You know what I yeah, mean? I'm I don't know too much, but, <laughs> but but we digress like that. Yes. Like we she's she's done that before, but like in front of us, she right. showed us she wasn't happy. Right. So that's my only inclination. So so when you were brought that up, I was like, it could not be her. OK, mm-hmm. maybe. But let's let's find out for sure. And yes. I still have no problem tormenting her because she's still making it a household. It's her. It's not him. Do you know what I mean? Like she's not like when he attacks her or something like that, beat his ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or, or do whatever you need to do to establish on. If you want dominance, you don't just get dominance. Like we, if, if you want to be dominant over the baby kitty, don't go like me, <laughs> kick his ass. That's what I said. <laughs> Fight it out. I don't give a fuck. And then I read, you don't do that with cats. Don't yeah. let them. Because that's what I yeah, said at not first. Supposed... I was like, fuck it. Let them go. Well, at the beginning. And then it said, no, don't do that. Yeah, well, that was r- right at the beginning. But now I'm at the point where I've been breaking this up for weeks now. Yeah. My hands hurt every time I have to fucking clap so loud. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> it doesn't work. We, or I get out get, of bed. I want to get one of those, uh, like the spray water bottles, yeah. because I don't give a shit. I will douse them. Yeah, I don't I don't care. I'm not getting up anymore. I'm not screaming at them anymore. The neighbors probably hate our guts. At this yeah, point, because yeah. like how many times I've had to <laughs> scream at these fucking cats to stop because you can't grab them. You can't. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whoever's so, pissing is is they're uh, about to get caught. Yeah. And it's so exciting. And I thought that was such a great idea. Um, So I Googled what Casey asked and it says um, it may only take a day or two or it may take several weeks for cats to tolerate each other. It may take months before the cats are relaxed with each other, but you are on your way to success if you reach the stage of a calm truce between them. So I think we're on our way to success. Right. They, they're, it's, it's the calm is there. It's when he's like worked up. When he gets worked up and he's playing and she walks by or she's nearby, like he notices she's not paying attention or something like that. And he's doing his little fucking spazzy, <laughs> his little spazzy yeah. jump arounds and his, his little, uh, what right. are the zoomies? Zoomies. When he's doing zoomies and he's running around, uh, he'll like startle her and mm-hmm. she goes like, Aah! and then it turns into a thing. And then he chases her because <laughs> either he thinks they're playing yeah. or they're not. He's and all then, riled up. And then it happens that she runs to a corner. She goes somewhere to hide and he just chases her because he's as fast as her. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and just. And, he's also not used to it because Dobby was not like that. Dobby was like, he well, would look at her like, I'm not playing. Like, I'm stop. playing here. Like, Leave me alone. Yeah. So so that's the thing is like he wouldn't. So he's chasing her. Yeah. But there's more. There is. There are more times of calm than there are not. Yes. So yes, that is true. It's, that is it's, very true. It's really just the pissing and then a couple isolated incidents at this point. So we are on our way. But this particular thing is a lot. Yeah, because so we have to, to, have to take it's a mattress or take it's the a mattress, mattress cover. protector. Thank God. Thank God. It has not reached the mattress. And then we we're thinking about like, what if we I mean, you know, again, pandemic wise, like responsibly, obviously. But what if we want to leave town? Yeah. What if we want to like and, and the thing is, it's not. And the problem is we don't have a bedroom door. Yeah. So that was my thought was like, just don't let him in the room. That's and... never an option. By the way, that's never not. If you have ever owned a cat with a bedroom door, that is never an option. Why? Do you remember when we did have bedroom doors? Unless the cats were in, we have to keep it like cracked or something like that's that. True. Or have to get them in the room because otherwise they they yeah, want but wh- while we're gone in, but if we left yeah if we left we could we could just shut it, the yeah. door and then and we don't have to worry about the door okay them. but then we don't have a cat piss we it's just, a brand new mattress we, we just the, the mattress isn't off. even a year old yeah we bought it during the pandemic yeah <laughs> right so um but we have to wash it every day because we only have the one protector and sometimes twice a day so like that's i mean obviously nobody wants to sleep in cat piss but i did by the way so i did i did one night i was uh i was uh i I pissed what was it it was like i I remember i laid in it and like that's the feeling like it's one thing if you piss your own bed (laughs) but when you lay in other yeah another creature's piss or another person's piss anything like 
it, yeah, it stinks. And that's another thing is like, it, it stinks. It's on your skin. Mm -hmm. It's on, like, it's disgusting. It's uh, <laughs> so uh, Kevin Brush just likes the idea of a cat security camera. That's a must buy. I was actually, Done. it's, it's really funny because how I came about this mm -hmm. was uh, like, I was going, Oh, I should get a nest cam. <laughs> I, that. I was like, wait a minute. Pat, uh -huh. You are an audio and video producer. Yeah. You have cameras. You have multiple <laughs> fucking cameras. Why don't you just set one of those up? And I was like, oh, perfect. So I yeah. set up the the same camera that I had for the time lapse. So uh, it's it right now. It's static on our on our bed. Mm -hmm. Either we're going to catch a ghost or a uh, straight up piss. And you better believe that's going to be the Photoshop for the next show. <laughs> it's the culprit red pissed yep uh because because at this point now that's just how we handle it from now on if we just have to like i i just wish there was a thing i know that there are like sprays you can spray on it to say like don't piss on right this, right right or whatever but like i th i th maybe and, and i'm that very grateful that it's pretty much isolated to that one literally that one spot mm -hmm. your side of the bed all right it's, <laughs> it's close to the middle it's, it's real close, close to your to the side middle. Real close it's to your very side. close to the it's middle. pretty much like it, under your pillow. It's like where like the majority of your pillow. Sixty percent of the piss is in the middle. I I'd say I'd give myself a forty percent amount of piss. Mm, I'd, I'd on flip my that. side. I'd love that. Sixty well, percent of your side. I guess this 40. is depending on what we consider my side. And we have discussed this in the past, you and I, uh -huh. about how much room you like to give me in our California king size bed. How many sides do I get? <laughs> I get that one. I get the quarter, quarter inch right at the end. I thought I was doing a good job. You do okay, but I'm just saying it's. I'm wondering where the property line is, right now. Like you know. I would say where our pillows are. That's the divider. Technically, like that's the length. Yeah. That's the okay. length of bed you get not, is the width of your pillow. Also, no piss on the pillows. No. Piss in the pillows is a great book as well. If you ever. If you, <laughs> It's the sequel to Wind in the Willows. Uh, uh, Ian Strong is also pounding off as well. He says, I've had success by watching her and physically moving her next to the her box when I know she's looking to pee elsewhere. Yeah, that's uh, the thing is we I've just been, can't catch them. I've yet. been there, Pat. Hands around her neck. Couldn't do it. <laughs> right? Like I, It's like one of those things where like... I thought last night, I was like, where is she? I think he might have just killed her. <laughs> Ian Strong, I've, I've thought that a couple of times. And I, like there's... I, I like like I said she turns me into a fucking animal because I'm like because because it goes to the point where like I go like oh she could be I could have scared her to death and I go yeah good because <laughs> honestly happy accident I feel bad that she's dead but I feel bad that she made me do it <laughs> like in this case literally your action your direct actions led to your demise mm -hmm. and in, in in the animal kingdom that is a fitting death Right. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Well, yeah, you yeah. see all those stupid deer just like eating shit and then just uh, arrow. You know what I mean? Like, what if it was like, oh, I shouldn't have pissed her. Uh, and then like, <laughs> and she just has a fucking grabber. Like she's overweight. You know what I mean? Like if I get her heart racing enough. And I like it's she's a fucking phony. We took her to the vet again for her fucking voice. And as yeah. soon as you get her in the cat care, she's like, meow, meow, <laughs> excuse me, meow. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my voice. I'm totally fine. Please. The second. And we're like, what? The I got fuck? her in the crate. Yeah. She started meowing. I was like, no, I did that the other night. The first time. <laughs> so the, the next aspect we've done is starting to reprimand Stanley. Like when he yeah. does attack her and there's no like there's no ill will. She just wants to walk by and he like jumps at her. We yell at him. And if he keeps going at her, we put him in a uh, kitty timeout. We put him basically back into kitty uh, quarantine. And, and I did the first time I did that, the first time I did that, like I put him in the thing and like, she goes, meow, meow. Like, like, she going, like, and I was like, what the fuck? And so every other time she's like, meow. she croaks. We meow. call it, we started calling her croak poke. Yeah. <laughs> Clove croak. So like, it's croak, a, croak. it's a, it's a, like, I know she's doing a lot of these things. So when we took her to the vet for that and they were like, nope, she's just kind of a dickhead. And she's lost her voice because she was yelling at that little dickhead. Yeah. So we got to start reprimanding him. But at this point, like, I, I, that's what I was saying is like, what if we just put him in there for a while 
and just but like no they have to learn how to get along yeah but they do need a break like i think i don't think so. there's plenty of that's house. what the, that is what the vet said right was if her voice doesn't like continues just try to give them a break and it's funny because like like she doesn't know that the vet said that to us but when as soon as i put him in kitten quarantine again she's like meow yeah. Oh, I feel great. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Maybe we should get rid of them. Maybe that's like she just keeps yeah, like that's, doing that's the, her signaling. these things. I'm like, I guess he keeps peeing on the bed. I mean, because like <laughs> I said, every other time she's done a pee on a thing out of place was to say, I don't like a thing. Yeah. She was showing me this one feels like she's trying to frame him. And yeah. I, I want to prove to you. I want to prove to the world that I am profile. I basically an FBI FPI. <laughs> investigator <laughs> in this case right now it's feline piss investigator that's who i am i'm a fpi investigator and i'm here to to prove to you yeah and the people of gd peeperton that uh clo croak is an absolute piss fiend and i'm gonna catch her red vagina i don't know how red vagina like well because she's doing it Oh. Well, I hope it's oh, not red. Oh, red-handed. Okay, that's why I was like, red. Well, it's okay, like that's right. the thing that's gotcha. doing the gotcha. action, right? Yep, yep. Red. I'm there with you. you, you uh, do they have fallop not fallopian? What's the other yeah, thing? Yeah, they do. Urethras? Yeah. Red urethrid. <laughs> that doesn't roll off the tongue as much as, I mean, even vagina didn't work. <laughs> but look, the point is, I'm not, I'm profiling for in a positive, like mine hunter, not like a, like a racist. Yeah. I've done the research. I've, there's a there's a history. <laughs> you see, there's a history of this kind of uh, behavior. Okay. And uh, we have to understand that the culprit, <laughs> whoever it may be, uh, is is definitely of a senior age uh, because of the heftiness of the smell of the piss. I don't think he's going to have that much of a scent, is he? I couldn't tell you. Do you. Does that? I don't know how that works. See, everybody. See, we're just exposing ourselves as not the cat experts that everyone thought we were. Yeah. Yeah, or there's, honestly, hey like, guys, there's oh my some God, blind you spots. guys are crazy. There's some blind spots here, guys. <laughs> we got some more pounding here. Ian, again, thanks so much for pounding off, guys. We appreciate it. Ian Strong's pounding off. Uh, he said, oh, yeah, he's been there. Uh, Casey's pounding off here. I can't wait to hear about the cat footage. You will absolutely see that. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. Wah, wah, wee, wah. <laughs> look at the Cali King and Queen <laughs> Hollywood fan. Yeah, look, I also have a chair. I have a chair. Look at me. I'm a king. King of the castle. It's a boar rat uh -huh. reference. I don't know why I said boar rat like that. I don't know either. I like it though. Boar rat. But yeah. <laughs> I've been laughing at FPI. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I, I am. I'm going to fucking find these motherfuckers. I'm going to suss them out. And honestly, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do like the punishment of the of the like wrapping them in the sheet to keep them warm. But put them in the carrier and say, like, like this is that's a very unique brand of justice. Yeah. And getting her into a carrier is a bitch. I don't know, man. I can do it. I'll wrap her up in the sheet. So the sheet's going to be involved. I want them to know that this is why this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, is that does the FPI do that, too? Yeah. Uh, stepping on damp carpet, knowing it's cat pee drives me fucking insane. Oof. They haven't. You know, again, knock on wood. Yeah, they haven't done the carpet. It's been, I mean, again, the bed, sleeping and piss is not a fun thing. I, again, I cannot stress but that it's enough. But it's so hard. It's so it's, uh, it's and especially it when you're like, that I it, smell it is the uh, the sheet because it's it can be easily washed. Bleached. I mean, it is. We're going but through if it's so carpet, much fucking detergent, and I'm yeah, assuming that, and water. water but like, oh my god! I'm sure we're gonna get a call from the landlord going like, "What's going on? Like, hey, we gotta, we gotta." We pay the cap. water, don't we? No, I don't think so. I we think it's, I think it's included. Gas. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not to, yeah. You know, it's probably gonna go up. <laughs> it's it's included, but like it's like yeah, yeah. yeah so we pay for it. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so then we pay for it, and you just said that that's part of the rent, but we're not gonna send you a bill. It was probably just paperwork, honestly. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. I, I'm just saying, like, I at least this one, it's not like, uh oh, I hope a leak, uh, I hope a pipe's not leaking or something like that. Yeah. I, I, I just, I, I want to get, like, I want to get like some kind of thing. Like I told you, if there is a way that like we could have it reactionary, 
to like not harm them, but like hurt them. Oh yeah, he was talking about um like the invisible fence. Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Around the bed. <laughs> I was thinking about that, like getting them each shot collars and just being like, yeah. fuck you, motherfuckers. You can't get on the bed. Nobody's pissing here. <laughs> and guess what? The more places you piss, more fences. He's going to build walls around I'll the build walls around the house and you will be contained oh to my God. you will be able to get food and water and you will be able to go to the bathroom and you'll be able to go. That's it. That's really it. And you'll have to you'll have to coexist in such a small area. And oh, and and uh, cat mom and I will just be there. Uh Ah, laid back, nice and comfortable, no piss. Actually, I mean, at some point, like we will win the war. We we're, will. We're losing we these battles, but again, they don't. They're idiots. Uh, Dom does have a prediction. I don't know if we want to take bets. Should we? Should Ooh, we? We should take bets. Should we take bets on like who actually do who? Who wants to bet? Mm-hmm. We'll we'll take bets. Anybody pounding off, and we'll we'll continue this throughout the show. But we'll yeah. find out, Chloe or Dobby. You said Dobby. Oops. <laughs> well, I don't know. You had a dream about him. Maybe I did. He, maybe it's ghost piss. Maybe he's like, mom, it's me. Don't tell anybody. And you're like, oh no, you're gonna kill Chloe and stop it all time. <laughs> all right, Stanley. So we got Stanley or Chloe. Piss bets. All right. Uh, we're going to be taking piss bets. Obviously it's for fun, but if you want to put money on it, let's do it. Uh, who do you, who do you think honestly it it is and how much do you want to wager? Oh, this is hard. Cause I do like it's, it really is 50, 50 for me, mm-hmm. but I'm going to say, you see, okay, so so all all the way. By the way, the reason I'm setting up the camera, folks, is because this one here is like it's probably not even her. Well, it's probably Stanley. Uh, and you just what if it's not her? And then now she's right, like, but that's just my thing. I mean, it's very well could be her. I, I, like I said, I should be a lawyer, man. I should be a fucking <laughs> lawyer, dude. At the beginning of this episode, you're like, it's it's definitely Stanley. No, I'm not saying it's you're definitely. Like, it's, it's definitely what we don't know who it is. So when you're tormenting one cat, it makes tormenting. me feel really keep bad. Keep tormenting. Okay, well, it. I'm speaking very clearly and very precisely of, about what I want to do to her and how I want to punish right. her to her. So it sounds a lot worse, <laughs> but really, I'm not actually laying hands on her. I am no, chasing the you're chasing her. her. Right. But you're you're and my thing of what I feel bad about is what if it's not her? That's that that is my qualm. You're absolutely right. And but I, you have a resolution to that. So I will say that it's it. I'll put five dollars, five dollars on Stanley on Stanley. All right. That's Dom's bet. We got uh, anybody. And, and that's the thing is, I guess what, what what we can do is we got We don't have odds at this point. It's just it's just, you know, five for five. Yeah. So you're betting. I'll have to match any bet like the show will match any bet, obviously, from the Baby Mermaid Productions uh, tip. Oh, Ron Barendro, you're here <laughs> oh, just you in missed. time. <laughs> what have you missed? Boy, oh, boy. Premium Ron. It's good. First of all, it's good to see you. It's been a Come little on. bit. I, I was actually uh, going to reach out to you. Uh, today if i had didn't see you by the end of the show just to make sure everything was okay you know what i mean not not that i'm uh, i'm not that needy but i hadn't seen you on <laughs> well wop i haven't seen you here and i was just concerned not uh not uh hurt concerned i wasn't like where's ron why isn't he watching me talk about my cat's piss on my bed but that's where we're at right now that's yes. what you so missed. to sum up really quickly uh cats have been pissing on the bed rampant it's been bad. Rampant pissing. So Pat r- chased Chloe around the house last night and it upset me. I felt bad for Chloe because we don't know exactly who it is. We haven't caught said cat. So before the show, Pat set up a camera <laughs> and it's on our bed and we're very excited. So right now we're placing bets. Is it Stanley that's pissing on our bed or is it Chloe? So right now, just to make sure, and and again, I've I've done the research. You missed a lot of the backstory. You can catch up, uh, yeah. obviously, in the audio only version that's or the video right later now. on. Is bets. That's where we're at right now. We are officially now taking bets. Uh, Dom is on the books right now. We're met. Uh, the show itself is matching bets for bets. So whatever you bet, uh, and it's once it's accepted, 
it is official. Uh, that's your bet. So Dom has <laughs> has officially bet uh, five dollars on Lord Stanley to be the piss culprit, and uh, and I accepted the bet. That is the first official bet. So if you'd like to bet a dollar, uh, you know, I, I, honestly, it's not. I don't. I don't have a ton of money in there. <laughs> so. <laughs> And I'm not. All, I can do less. I was just. I was. I don't know. I don't usually bet, so I just said five dollars. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Five dollars on uh, Lord Stanley for uh, uh, Lord Dominique, and uh, if anybody else has any wagering that they'd like to do on which cat they possibly think it may be, from the evidence now, uh, Ron, you did not get the uh, the luxury of having all of the evidence presented of like past again. So I can I can say that I probably will put up a Instagram. Uh, poll also okay uh later on so that way you can also participate in that if you don't feel confident betting that's fine and i and i don't think you're a pussy or anything like that don't worry um <laughs> ron also says all good i had to build some stuff in a wood shop for a client oh, oh nice, nice. Cool. okay so good it was it's for good reasons because you're busy working it's not because you were like i'm in such pat a will place allow it now. yeah i will allow that that's good and it's not because you're pissing in our bed also because really i was gonna say uh, I might have a side bet to say it could be Ron, but it's not Ron. So we're good. Also, I, I am not pissing on the bed as well. I did. That was another thing. That was another thing that I, uh, I thought I, I, I floated past you to see if that would be uh, an option for punishment is I piss on uh, their favorite places to sleep. Yeah. But no. And you're like, no, that's our furniture. Yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I mean, one like, of them being my shoe rack, you, you got to speak their language. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's a thing where if you have a, if you have a, if you have a situation where they're speaking and piss, you got to speak and piss, you know, if they, if, if they're again, if they bite you, you bite them. Right. Isn't that how you're supposed to do it? No. Oh, Ian's pounding off here. I've already been accused of being a sinner due to my fornication and masturbation. I don't think I want to add uh, de de degenerate piss a gambler. Well, <laughs> it's not, we're not going to always bet on pissing. I mean, we can, <laughs> maybe that could be the wager is like who wins. This is the gross domesticated podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, it's very clear. I wanted to make <laughs> it clear to Tom when he was uh, saying those terrible things online, Tom too. Sorry. I apologize. And, uh, and any other people that don't understand, like if you're, if you're here, for a, a nice not gross or we just talk about fun relationship stuff no <laughs> talking about piss farts burps uh poop pee it doesn't matter i we, i said pee already but either way don't worry about it there's no judgment here for that and also i mean there there will be i got i got uh, accused of being a, a heathen for sick peeing so there's a lot of judgment. Yeah, around. a lot of piss talk. Don't worry this, about uh, it. <laughs> podcast. I got a piss. I mean, you, you you talk about what you know. And peeing are you you peed your pants? Multiple There's been times. a lot of a lot of. I piss peed my talk. pants on, on in front of this very camera, seconds after. I think I even posted that. I can't remember if I did or not. There was a promo there where I was like, oh, and I had to like, but I was like, to be completely honest, I was it was starting at that point. It was starting to trickle out. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost a done deal by the time I was at the end of the stairs, the foot of the stairs. So yep. uh, Casey's also pounding off. I don't want to bet against Chloe, but I think she's acting out. Yeah. So put your money where your accusations are. Let's find out. It could be, it could be as, as little as 20. Well, I don't know. What's the smallest amount you can transfer with cash app. I have no idea. Or any of those, whatever, like a dollar, whatever it is. And I'll, I'll even I'll even cover the fee, like the the transfer fee, if you want to put it right into your bank. Ian's also pounding off. No judgment. Charles called me a sociopath because I put I enjoy Arby's roast beef and insane clown posse on occasion. Well, yeah, we but, won't judge yeah, you, but yeah, we can't we, help what other people do. Yeah, yeah. If the if the other peeps are but gonna, we will say this is a judge free zone. We don't want any is, judgment. Yeah, the the the. Dobby Waberson Memorial Caddick, the soon to be Chloe should have known better but uh, Memorial Caddick. I do, I would like the Peepertons to feel comfortable yeah. speaking their truth and your opinions. All the time. Yeah, your opinion. All the time. Like that's the thing is it's supposed to be it, it, that's why I say when I when I ask for pounding off, I don't I specify it doesn't just have to be good. It doesn't have to be positive pounding. 
because the the negative pounding yeah. will have an effect as well. Yeah, it's it's either way because honestly, it's it'll, it'll take an honest assessment. If it's something like, oh, I don't like the thing you did. I don't like the you talk about piss. Go somewhere else. Yeah. If it's like you say, you, you your audio is weird. Oh, I can fix that. You know what I mean? Thanks for the heads up. That's not. You know what I mean? Or <laughs> I guess that's just a note. But uh, Ian's also, yeah. uh, no, sorry. Uh, Casey says, I'll bet $5 it's Miss Clopoke. All right. So All right. Casey's got five on Chloe. John, you're also here. I, I love how people are coming in uh, right at, like, right at the perfect time for me to explain exactly what's going on. We are taking bets on who is pissing on our bed. I set up a secret camera. We have two kitty cats here. They're not totally, they're almost completely getting along, but not completely. Not completely because somebody keeps pissing in our bed and it's not us. So I set up a camera before the show that hopefully I don't know exactly when we'll find out. Right. Like it, it's going to be today. We know it's going to happen sometime <laughs> at today. some point. It happens every day. <laughs> Sometimes twice. Some, no, it hasn't happened twice. Yeah. I remember when we had to clean it twice one day. I don't think so. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember that. I, I, maybe, I, I, I maybe I blocked maybe it out of my fucking memory. Yeah, I could have sworn. But we're taking bets on. Uh, so uh, if you let us know how much you want to bet and how much. And again, don't forget on Chloe or Stanley pound off in the comments as well. Um, so, John, that's where we're at right now. Do you think it's Stanley or do you think it's Chloe and how much you want to bet? So uh, Ian says, I also <laughs> I also been called the man in the pounds. Uh, I take the bad with the good yeah yeah absolutely people get it you know uh, I, it's uh, you know i mean to be completely frank i love charles charles is one of my favorites he's my cupcake love that guy but like i don't think that's okay like, <laughs> like I, I, I i love that charles likes me and thinks that i'm a, i hope that he thinks i'm a good person i hope that he truly because honestly i really do like charles i i but like but the, if he's like man you do that thing like if, if it's about like something you eat or ingest, let's just say I'm going to go like, hey, uh, Charles, it's all right, buddy. Like <laughs> I would say, don't worry about that. You can take that one with the, what is it? Take it with a grain of salt. Yep. Take it as a thing of like, oh, yeah, you came here for something that we're oh, you're looking for something that's not cat piss bets. OK, so, yeah, we we're going to that's not here. It's a different show uh, here. We talk about cat cat piss bets. And again. So take your time, collate them. We'll 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 check in throughout the show to find out who wants to bet on who. Uh, check with Vegas, find out what the odds are. <laughs> but we are taking uh, uh, money for money bets. Uh, GDP, uh, the Baby Mermaid Productions tip jar will officially cover any bets that are uh, in, and uh, by the end of the show, because again, it's going to happen. We maybe as soon as we go down there, we're going to see a big yellow spot. I'm going to take the footage upstairs and we're going to get to working on finding out who the piss culprit is, or it could be near the end of the day, but there's unlimited power and there's a ton of gigs. So <laughs> it's just the same camera that I set up for that, that snow time lamps, time, time, lapse? Lamps. time lamps. lamps, is that 24 hours or 16 hours. So we got time. Yeah. I got nothing but time. <laughs> so, uh, we're also here to talk about. Uh, did you hear about the? You did you see the Tiger Woods accident thing? I saw a little bit. Okay, so uh, from what I from what I've understood, I I heard a little bit about it on the radio this morning about them talking about it. At first, I was concerned because you see the picture and you see breaking news and you're like, oh boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. You're like, it. I thought it was. I thought it was something. He was dead. Mm -hmm. Then you find out really bad car crash, airlift, and you're like, uh oh, still could be. And then. I mean, I didn't think of it right away, but like the next thought, like it was a couple thoughts and I was like, oh, I hope he wasn't like messed up or anything. No, it's a it's what I saw is it's a very common place like that. Yeah. It's a turn. It's a dangerous. Area. It's a very dangerous uh, area that that f like people frequently die there. Yeah. Um, but it was just a broken leg, right? Well, it, uh, apparently, it's I like mean, not just a broken, well, but like, like compound. I, it's like all on one leg, like his. Yeah, because like, that car was tibia. Also. I think it was like his tibia, his uh, like uh, almost like both of his leg, leg bones were like they. I think the way that they put it was it was in like either in pieces, like it was like, like not, shattered. Like, yeah, yeah, like bad. Yeah, Very yeah, yeah. Compound but, fractures, but it's 
I don't believe life threatening. Not life thre- threatening, but could be career ending. Yeah. So like that's that's fucking terrible, dude. Like that's that's a thing where like even I'm not a fan of golf. Again, I, John, a uh, host of hacks. If anybody that the fracture, fracture uh, the fracture surgery he had is very is very bad. I used to sit in on that surgery all the time. Okay, so it's it was it was like his ankle, his leg, like all this like and yeah, all that on car one was side. messed up. Like I'm surprised. That like I, I I can imagine his leg is severely fucked. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's actually I was I was like, wait, aluminum. No, because we tried that with Chloe when we first got Chloe because she kept getting on the counters and somebody told us to put aluminum foil on the countertop. She did not care. Yeah, she well, still got she on may it. not piss on it though. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. It's, it's, that's really expensive. Yeah, I mean, unless we got one of those warming blankets that are like they look like aluminum foil you know it's uh, like like you know uh, like the shelter yeah, like yeah yeah if we did that but to lay out aluminum foil god it's so expensive yeah we could do that that's a good yeah. idea great job mm-hmm. high five <laughs> teamwork hacks is the only golf show i approve of yes all other are hot hot garbage yes 100 Absolutely i agree with that 100 percent off real hard loving it making up for lost time that is a great pound premium run pound and hard because that's true and that's coming back. Hopefully, uh, the weather's going to be a little Rape bit better. Blanket. <laughs> is that what those are? Oh, yeah. Well, afterwards. They... <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, always, I always think of those as, I call them suicide blankets. Yeah. Because those are the it's ones just... that I always see when they're like, somebody's on a bridge and they're like, I'm going to jump. And they're like, don't do it. And they're like, okay. And then they put the blanket on them. Yeah. Then they're like, thanks. Yeah. This is better. It just probably know? just makes you feel like secure. You yeah, know, yeah. like you're. You like that hostage negotiation? <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Number one, they don't call me the best for nothing. But yeah, uh, hacks golf. You got a uh, hacks comedy golf. You got to yeah. check it out uh, at Baby Mermaid Productions on uh, YouTube as well as Instagram. You can check out episodes from uh, season one there as well as uh, lots of funny clips. John shares a lot of the uh, fun golf news. I don't know. Yeah, he does. Uh, I, a lot of the fun, like I, I like to to get that too because my timeline every once in a while like will sneak in. My timeline's fucked up. My timeline, every timeline. For Instagram. Well, I think it's Instagram. I don't think it's my timeline because I tried to go like I tried to venture out. Uh huh. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna look in different categories, like specific, because I wanted to find partic- anything like new, like newsworthy that would like to talk about or anything like that. Uh-huh. Okay. Aside gotcha. from just the normal thing. That was before I thought of the camera thing. Yeah. So I was just like, fuck yeah, that's the first hour. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh it was I was searching through like beauty, you know, like art. So like every one of them, one of the top selections uh-huh. for, they were saying was like, here's a butt. Like even with one of them was like uh I think was like do you have mail in your profile? like oh listed. yeah but, like, but, like, but <laughs> that's, that's why it, like, it just comes standard but no no but it, I, I was hold on you got john he's got his blank he's got his suicide blanket on he's ready but like every one of them was like if it was literature it was her holding a butt next to her in yoga pants yeah and i was like what the fuck hey hey john how's it hello, going pal? hello good Still i felt like i had to call in and now there's three things that i have to talk about <laughs> wonderful it's only because it's the only expertise I have nope. is orthopedic surgery, golf, and then he started talking butts. I'm here for all three. I started talking about not only that, but also like uh, butts in different lanes. Because I know John is somebody who every once in a while he calls them uh, golf uh, ladies uh, that yes. uh, that he gets to, that he gets in his timeline every every once in a while, and he's like, oh, she just gets a lot of followers because of her butt or whatever, and then he sees her swing and he's like. Oh, her swing's better than mine too. <laughs> like she's just yeah. she's just an excellent golfer with an excellent eye for photography. <laughs> so we discussed this many times on the golf course that if you can like because you said like, oh, well, disc golf. And then we discussed it and not a week later, I had like disc golf yeah. ladies that were and I was like, really? Disc golf? Like there's even ladies capitalizing on being hot in disc golf, which <laughs> is fine. Right. And, and then, also to Paragenie M to Mike, I did cut my hair. This is a fresh haircut, so shut up. Yeah, you look great. Um, <laughs> I thought he was talking to me. Yeah. But yeah, so the, it, it always cracks me up. It's like no matter what you can get into, you can be like, I'm really into uh, boning a fit. No, that sounds dirty. <laughs> like gutting a fish and all of a sudden it's like 
slutty hot girl in yeah. Florida yeah. guts fish. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 dude, it's, it's fucking insane. Like every, I, I'll show you. Hold on. <sighs> Literally every everything. So, because I was like, I don't want the thing suggested for you. I want to. I wanted to look outward. Like I wanted to say. Let me find out what Instagram thinks, like all, all these categories up here. Have you ever done it? Like travel. Yeah. Watch travel. Oh, yeah. Travel. Look, hot girl. Boom. They look at two guys making out. Two guys. And now your your algorithm is and, just gonna be and now hot girls getting on planes. Yeah. <laughs> travel travel seems to do, to be the most tame of any of them that I've seen. Eventually it comes yeah. down to like it's it's comes down to that wasn't a that, I was yeah. like I saw skin, it was like just some pregnant lady. <laughs> Architecture. Oh, see, now he's gonna there's gonna be hot pregnant women yeah on his i didn't like it. so the Don't only worry. one i haven't seen pat is i get super into like all those like satisfying videos where it's like someone like sculpting sand perfectly but i got yeah. really into two uh like art of engineering instagrams and i'm yet to see the sluts of engineering with the <laughs> algorithm. it's coming now i'm waiting for them to be like you like that screw well here you go like come on sports <laughs> No, so well, with yeah, the Tiger Woods thing, sure. sports. That was, uh, yeah, you type sports. in sports and it's. Yeah, check it out. Oh, check clearly, out that sports. Clearly, that's fucking sports. cool ass sports, huh? Like, I. It, so the Tiger Woods accident, I did want to oh, discuss. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That I actually texted two of my friends and called. I predicted the exact type of injury because of one, as soon as you see that car, it's always on your right leg. Mm -hmm. uh, from stomping on the brake and then smashing into something head on, oh. you always shatter your ankle and then that force goes up your tibia and cracks it at some point. So it always it's always gonna crack it at this like the weakest point. Yeah. Uh, it's called Wolf's Law, if you want to look it up. Wolf's law of, of healing. Uh wait, wait, what is it? Hold on. What is it? Wolf's. There it is. <laughs> Not wolves. Wolf's wolf. 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 I, no, I heard I heard wolf's. first I heard Wolf's Law. Wolf's Law. Like I, I heard the law. I heard the Jersey Wolf, Philly apostrophe thing. S Wolf. Wolves W U F. So, but basically, what they do is they then take a rod and shove it down the tibia, and then put plates all around the ankle to hold everything back together. Oh. This is going to be very hard for him at his age to come back from. But they gave him the lieutenant. His, he still got his legs. They're oh. still there. Didn't lose them. All right. Yet. Yeah, but he I mean, also had to get like a, a fasciotomy, pain. which is if you have compartment syndrome, so if you have a bad fracture, yeah, um, your muscles start to swell and your skin is keeping that muscle in and it can't breathe and you can get compartment syndrome, which uh, John Jones almost had in his leg from severe swelling after that break. Yeah. And then that's when, if that gets really bad, that's when they have to cut your leg off because essentially everything from the injury down dies. Mm -hmm. Me, so what they have to do with that, which is insane, is they have to literally cut a window in your skin and let your muscles start to almost ooze out of that window so that it can expand and breathe. And it's uh, it's nuts. But that is going to be the hardest thing for him to rehab from. This is an injury that he can't rich his way out of, is what you're saying. No, nobody can. And, you, and the tough thing, too, is like age is a big determining factor on oh, how you bounce sure. back from this. And granted, he probably has, I mean, when you look at like his bone structure and everything, he probably has a stronger bone structure than, structure than a lot of 20 year olds. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's too easy. <laughs> and, uh, but it, at his age, this will be, but if there's anyone that can bounce back, this is the golf nerd in me now excited. Yeah, here we go. If there's anyone that can bounce back from this, it's Tiger Woods. Dude, it's like, that was the thing I kept hearing from everybody that was talking about this story. Everybody that was talking about this story. The like the first thing they said was like, oh, it's terrible what happened to him. Uh, you know, we wish him the best. I hope he a speedy recovery, and uh, I, I can't wait to see if he can come back from this. And I was like, damn, because damn, give him like two days of rest <laughs> to be like, man, I hope. But I, it's I, also say, how is he going to come back from this? Is he going to be able? I'm like, damn, give him a minute. Like, Jesus. I think it would be interesting is he's not the kind of person that can just hang it up. Like, he's not gonna. If you watch that HBO documentary, like he talked about that when he came back from his back. A lot of times then people were like, there's no way he's coming back. But he was just like, no, I'm playing in the Masters. And they were like, that's in four months. He's like, yeah, I'm playing in it. And <laughs> showed up and killed it. Right. But it's, yeah, it's, uh, it'll be interesting because the big factor of the recovery for this is like, you have to be militantly dedicated yeah. 
to like you see with Tom Segura, like I've been following his healing from he does like ripping his knee apart his arm five days a week. His yeah, his PT is on another level, and yeah. he's not even you know a, an elite athlete. So yeah. like he'll get back to the point where he can walk normally. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Tiger Woods has that. He wants to get back to where he can compete or with the greatest in his sport in the world. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's the thing that like the uh, it's funny. Uh, we got some pounding off here. Uh, uh, Ian says, let me patella tell let me patella you something mean, Gene, which is the nice. Tom Segura injury. And that's an injury that I am currently most afraid of. It was that one. It's. It's the one that I, every run I go on, if my foot hits an uneven surface, the patella You're or like, your it. It quadriceps is. tendon, your quads tendon, that's the one you got to really watch out for. If your quads aren't strong, that thing will. Yeah. Hydration. That's too. the proximal part of your patella. So you said you <laughs> sat in on a couple of those surgeries. What did, what kind of work are you doing or did you go to school? I used to, no, I used to sell all the implants that like yeah. the, the rod that's in, Tiger Woods leg right now was the company I worked for. I actually texted like two people this morning and I was like, I need the inside scoop. <laughs> they're like, yep, it's UCLA. That's one of ours. Wow. Um, yeah. The job before I moved back to New Jersey, I used to sell those rods and we would like for the promise of like, if you use our equipment, we will have someone in that procedure. So my job was to go in there. Oh, barely graduated high school, let alone <laughs> barely graduated college. Yeah. And I would have to tell surgeons if they're doing it right or not. Just because, like, yeah, they would. The dr- I, I had right, like right. years of like the the training on the equipment, basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was weird. But so I would sit in that surgery. Is it's very common. It's motor vehicle. Yeah, is always like a tip. It's your motor vehicle, or in John Jones' case, kicking another human so hard yeah. that you snap your tibia in half. Yeah, and that's and that happens. You know, I mean, when elite athletes like me, John Jones, or Tiger Woods get injuries like this. It takes a lot of rehab, you know what I mean? So like I don't want to have to go through that. I just want to be no. continue to compete and uh and no matter what, have nothing stand in my way. You know, I mean, like how am I supposed to spell eliminate gotta... all dis- eliminate all hurdles. Just... Absolutely. And no hurdles. Honestly, if you don't want to hurt your leg, don't use that. Don't jump over. Yeah, go around like them. Yeah, go it's around. Very hurdles. easy to go around hurdles. Take the low <laughs> route. Uh but so I, I guess that's the thing is all right, so what were your because that's the thing i'm really happy to see the fact that everybody was like because i thought i thought for sure i guess i didn't know which round how the world felt with tiger because like i i'm realizing something with that with that britney spears with that britney nice (laughs) with the britney spears doc was like was like a lot of times people you hear this a lot of times and you hear i was talking about this with andy in the latest episode of uh what about we were saying, I said, like, I don't think that there's necessarily, I don't know if there's a right side of history anymore. You know what I mean? Like, there's because, not, like, the right side of history back yeah. then used to be like, Brittany fucking cheated on Justin, fuck her, and blah, blah, blah. She's a bad mom and she's a piece of shit. And everybody was kind of cool with like talking about her in that sense. And that was technically, that's how we all kind of left it. And then now, technically, the right side. Of, so, like, it changes because it keeps, you keep looking at the past in a new, like perspective and like there doesn't seem to necessarily i wish people would understand like like the right side changes and sometimes like sometimes it is avoidable and it's about doing the right thing once you're aware of what the right thing is yeah well i think now too we get so much more because like these documentaries are coming out you're getting more of every angle of the story before it was just like like when tiger woods first crashed his car it was like tiger woods crashed his car because of pills, that's it. Yeah. Cheated on wife, then mm-hmm. came out. And you're like, okay, but then now this HBO documentary that came out, which I hate these documentaries because it's all journalists talking about how someone felt or what yeah. their thoughts were. Yeah. You're like, no, that's, and like in the Britney documentary, they talked about when the guy was like, he's like, no, she told us, like, oh, she wanted us around. It's like, well, yeah, I would tell myself that too if my paycheck was yeah. revolving around me being around her. Right. She never was like, I'm sure she never walked out of her house and that paparazzi wasn't there and she was like, damn, wonder where they are. Yeah, never, never, never once. And like, if that ever did happen where she went outside and, and there was nobody out there, she would be like, she would get in her car as fast as she could and try to get wherever she was without them knowing. Like right. That, like that's the thing. And, and but what's funny is in their mind, they're like, oh yeah, this is the part where we just follow her. She loves this part too. Yeah. <laughs> and like, oh, she didn't. And, and it's that weird thing where 
I, I was explaining how that sentence started was the only way I was really, really aware of the media attention on Britney Spears in the time in that time was uh, literally it was me uh, loving nip slips or anything like that. So like, that's what I was like. Yeah. Yeah. You get the you got the paparazzi trying to catch them falling out of their dress while they're getting out of a car or walking down a thing if their thing slips or whatever. And that was like the and I was like, and I'm not proud of it and I'm moving on. <laughs> But like that was literally I didn't know about the drama that was happening. I didn't know about the fucking You just thought it was all about the nips. I, I was just like, yeah, I thought paparazzi were just out there trying to catch nips. I didn't know that there was like categories of like any of those things. But that was I, I didn't care about the gossip of it. But as far as being on yeah. the right side of history, I feel like the right side has been try to stay out of their personal business. Like yeah. at all costs. And, yeah, and, and I don't think but that's, that's not what people want. People want that's not the right side. They want it all, <laughs> right? Well, and if everyone like if if that lens got put on anyone, anything you do would look like a problem. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. th- like if they put a lens on me, they'd be like, "Oh man, like is John drinking too much water throughout the day?" Like <laughs> it, it could be something as simple as that. It's like, what's what do you? Oh, he runs up. What are you running from? Like that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like right. anything can be spun, and they're never going to spin it to the positive of like. Britney Spears uh, was a great mom and made breakfast for her kids today. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying is like, they're, they're, that's they're boring. There even is a case where, like, well, that, that's what I thought too. But there's a weird case where, like, if you're at a certain level of celebrity, you sell the rights to the first time of having your picture or your baby photog- uh, uh, pictured or whatever in a, in a spread. Photog pictured. You're right. That's I, it. I, <laughs> I was trying to fig- pick the words there and I was like, wait, I don't even care that much about it. So I'm just going to say in pictures. Um, but. Oh. Speaking of, Bless of you. babies, hey, that was if you're gonna sneeze, please go out of the room. <laughs> those are baby sneezes. If They're too cute. Sneeze, those are so cute. But right. <laughs> but that's the thing is like I am. I, this is not gonna play well now with both of you saying that, but <laughs> I think fucking baby pictures are very boring. And people that are like, no I will way. pay you four million dollars to see your baby, no is nuts. Yeah, other people's baby pictures are boring as hell. Pat, I will text you a few really cute ones. You have, <laughs> and they are, and they are very. Yeah, cute. I put my glasses on the other day. I love that one. By the way. Thing ever. I don't know. Did I react to that one? Because if not, heart you eyes. Did. Can I do heart you eyes did. right now? I think you hard eyes and you send cry emoji as well. I think you doubled down. I might have. Ooh, double down. I, I love I love yeah. an emoji. She likes that. See how see how fucking excited she gets to the fact that I reacted to baby pictures. And, and, I don't know. And, I don't. I, if anybody new to GDP, I just want to uh, introduce my uh, co-host and my beautiful wife. Uh, she is a pedophile. She loves children. <laughs> I hate you. you follow babies on Instagram, right? Yeah, I do. I'm not on speaker, right? Your baby you can't hear babies. this, right? <laughs> Yes. No, you're on headphones. She's okay. over here just looking around. She's got a cute little Tupac headband on. Yeah. Like oh, when yeah. they tie in the front. Yeah. See, <laughs> she's keeping it. She's a peep. She's a baby peep right now. Immediately. Through and through. Uh-oh. Yeah. What's happening? Boss here? Yeah. You're just We were talking no, she's surgery. Telling me to watch hey, tell her we were talking. We were talking work stuff. We were talking. Yeah, we're talking work baby stuff. Oh yeah. Initially, we were, I was I was the field reporter on uh, golf and injuries. And then we got <laughs> and then we started talking about Britney Spears. <laughs> I just got excited because it's literally the only two things I have a good amount of knowledge in yeah. is yeah. orthopedic surgery and golf. And as soon as he got hurt, I, I said to my friend, I was like, not excited, but I was like, finally, like all my knowledge pays off. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's in the worst way. Like nobody wants to hear about these that. are all yeah. of my lanes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But that, but that's true. Okay. So actually while we got you here, uh, not that we, we can go back to Tiger Woods in a little bit and I don't know how much time we have you here, but uh, we, I saw a post uh, earlier today that, that caught my eye and you know how much I love those snack cake debates or which one's got to go. Blah, oh, blah, blah. okay. But they're like, you can only k- keep one forever. And it Ooh. was, it was a wing debate. And this actually sparked another topic that I love, I want chicken wings. which is a, with like good, like where to get the best foods because yeah, we are people from Florida. Hi, we're Floridians I'm listening. that have come to uh, the great state of Pennsylvania. We've moved here six years ago. Mm-hmm. and have yet to have like a really good wing like here so when yeah we, we were the, talking about that last time i was watching. yes <laughs> and we're and we're trying to figure out like where you can get the best whatever but we saw this like straight up you got to pick one it's wet uh grilled dry or like crispy like breaded crispy fried fried, fried. can you go dry on the side dry sauce on the side no yeah well like dry and you can dip it in whatever you want 
Yeah. Uh, but like prepared, like as far as like, because like our favorite in Florida are blackened wings and it's usually oh, a dry rub. Maybe that's what they meant. Maybe they meant wet as in like wet, you get sauce like on the wings and then uh, like a wow, a wet ass wing. Yeah. Wet ass wing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. Uh, no, <laughs> no, there's a, <laughs> there's that. And then like uh, the grilled, I don't think, I think you put a, a sauce style. on afterwards. No, I it's, think it's, it's only it's one has style. sauce on it. Yeah. Was it was smoked one of the options because those no. are the worst wings ever. Yeah, they're right. always undercooked, kind of. Yeah, yeah, they're like they're still for pink, me. And you're like, uh. my favorite wings are. There's a place here that'll do grilled, so they grill them, and so they're grilled, dry rub sauce on the side, uh, garlic parm. Ooh. That yeah is my and you get them grilled. If you really have the end, because I used to work at this bar grilled and then have them throw them in the fryer for like oh, eight seconds crisp them up yeah so yeah they're grilled on the, you Locks get grilled chicken in. inside and just that outside but they're a little bit healthier there and those ones are less breaded this is a weird yeah. thing. i like a minimal breading yeah i don't i don't need breading um yeah. grilled is are are really good but i do really like a blackened like dry rub yeah but grilled wings are delicious there's a place are you a Drums or wings? That's another huge Drums. debate. I'm wings. So when we I get them, both. Yeah. I do like both. Um, but I generally it's too much when we work. get wings, I get the winged and he does the people are like, drummy. People are like, oh, here's my technique. Uh, this is how I eat wings. Uh, uh, and they do this I just, thing. I was about well, to I was just about to share my technique. Yeah, I'm glad that you <laughs> stupid voice that was totally, but, no, no. but if you have a preference, totally but like if you totally. have a preference, if you're saying like I like either one, and that's true, I will eat either one yes. either. Like yeah. either one doesn't matter. I prefer drummies because it's just like a little chicken, like hack, 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 and then you're done. Yeah. yeah, I'm a. I, I like being very strategic with anything I eat. Yeah, and I game plan the last like bites. So I love getting it down to really get like all like the terrible ones out of the way first. Mm -hmm. The ones that are like how many of the ones a half a wing, yeah. like a half a drum. It's just a ball of chicken. Yes, yes, yes. And you're like, is there a bone here? We're gonna find out and just pop it all in. <laughs> like a, you think it's a boneless bite? It's not. And you're like, oh, that's not boneless. Yeah, I, but then I love ending with a like the perfect drum and the perfect wing. Yeah, but I'll always end with the wing because yeah. like right. you said technique i love doing the twist uh-huh pull one of the bones out and then yep so do you less have, gristle that's the thing is i i i definitely have uh I have a preference on like wing or drummy or anything like that like uh but i don't necessarily i i actually if i'm being completely honest i have been criticized for my eating technique as well because i don't bring it to my face until it's off the bone so uh, what I do is oh you I, finger I, I play it, a little I, I clean a it, finger play I clean it and then I dip it if I want in some mm -hmm. ranch yeah ranch not blue cheese I dip it in ranch suck my dick Joey Diaz uh, wait have you ever heard of this is interesting did you ever hear of the wing bowl that they used to have in Philadelphia no mm -mm. who if you want to Dude, I, just so told you, I haven't had a decent wing here why would I go to a wing competition oh, if I don't wait, think they no, can do this, it this you, the the actual eating of the chicken is the like the last thing you actually watch in this oh okay. the wing bowl I, I don't know if anyone in the comments has ever heard of or experienced it one it pretty much got canceled when me too came out <laughs> now let me describe why it basically was uh, it all started like a radio the sports talk radio station wanted to do a wing eating contest one year and they would do it on the friday right before the super bowl Okay. So they did it at a bar, like 20 people showed up and watched, and then it kept getting bigger to the point <laughs> where it filled where the Flyers play, the arena where the Flyers play, the Wachovia Center, and it became this huge spectacle that you would, I went to it two years, you would get there <laughs> at four in the morning and tailgate. So you're getting shit ripped at four in the morning, oh, they open God. the doors at seven, and it was, again, this is pre-me too, pre-two if you will. It was literally just like they would have wingettes, which were just Philadelphia whores, <laughs> as best as I can describe them. And Hello. I'm not offending any Hello. of them because I bet you if you – here's another thing. That was their first name. Look up the hashtag wingette, and they're all proud whores, like <laughs> very <laughs> proud of it. So they would like be – there would be like 10 of them assigned to each eater, and these girls would come out essentially just nude. But then to one up it in the crowd, all the drunk women that were there at four in the morning were like, well, I want to be looks at too, would just continuously pull all their shirts up and the jumbotron would show them for like, they would cut to a girl, she'd pull it up and they'd be like, they gave that like accidental, like, oops, we forgot to cut away. 
but oh. they did it a hundred times. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand exactly what you're saying. If you these are wing, ha- these are wing house waitresses. <laughs> yes. yes. I will explain to you now. Also John. a lot of strippers. You think? You, I think it's just... Yeah. You, you've shared uh, your story yeah. of the wing bowl with us. I will tell you about the establishment in Florida that has multiple locations that employs such wingettes, uh, or as you would call them, Jersey or Philly uh, whores. Philly. <laughs> there was also uh, Jersey one. Yeah, I went to high school with a Philly, lot right? of these girls. <laughs> but I uh, quickly, uh, a quick pound from my mother in the, in the in the Facebook chat. Hey, I, Mama Pat. I've never eaten wings out anywhere. I don't know if that's true. I think she's fucking lying. I'm pretty sure she we eat wings, wings with her. She doesn't, but she doesn't like spicy. Ah. And she's very like, I don't know. I don't, she doesn't trust. So if we say this isn't spicy, she's going to be like, yeah, but I will think, you it's know, spicy. you know, when you give she needs it, to come into the new generation, because before wings were only hot. wings. Right. 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 Now we're and talking, we're talking barbecue. Parmesan. We're talking garlic parm. She yeah. loves garlic parm. Oh, yeah. And even the blackened it's isn't spicy. It's African-American. But yes. no, there is a uh, cooked. She said, cook some in the oven uh, at home once or twice. Not bad. She's cooked them more than once or twice. I'm pretty sure. But uh, I will also uh, say that I more than not always default to boneless wings especially at a bar like shout out this can be an advertisement for boomerangs i miss Ugh. boomerangs garlic parm boneless yeah, wings I, I like I, those. what do we get thunder boom uh, bo- uh we get a thunder down under or thunder thunder, thunder something sauce or i don't know man it's all you know Australian but they're good. They, it's all those, copywritten material those are that they're good. taking <laughs> like i i do enjoy eating those we would go yeah that was the boneless like are just easy boneless yeah. Pop men. Well, Good that's essentially go. like I, I, we eat. Okay. So, a uh, quick tip. I, I, and, I, and I'm glad it wasn't as one of the things that could be eliminated because Korean, Korean Ooh, barbecue, yeah. barbecue is fried with sauce on them. Yeah. And like deep fried. But then fried that's like mugs and drugs. I love mugs and yeah. drugs. In <laughs> Wait, Florida. that's what you were getting at. You never actually said the name of the establishment okay, so, in Florida. No, I <laughs> actually, I forgot. By the way, I forgot there's multiple ones that kind of. That one is misleading. Mugs and jugs is actually a little bit more tame than the one I was yes. gonna. What I was gonna mention, which is, app. So like they, they, <laughs> they, sw- they honestly should they should switch names. Oh, I want wings so bad. So they should we should they should switch names because mugs and jugs is actually more of a family establishment, but Wing House <laughs> is owned by uh his last name is Kerr. He was a cow- Dallas cowboy. Yes, and he owns uh Wing House, which are like Hooters. But the uh, waitresses are basically their normal uniforms uh, close to Hooters, but they're allowed to show a little bit more Hooter, let's just say. <laughs> and they started to do a thing. And and again, yep. not proud of it, John. Uh-huh. Uh, when I used to work at the medical supply company, uh-huh. when I was helping Tiger Woods out, uh, I we would <laughs> they every once in a while they would have uh, dress to impress. And they started it around Halloween time, which is dress to impress was a contest for all of the waitresses to to wear their funnest outfit for Halloween and uh and then lingerie and then the um tables like throughout the day throughout the shifts would vote on their favorite like first second third or whatever and then they would win as a con- so it, it was fun but the costumes let's just say John ended up at at some point they divulged or they devolved into because it became such a success. I don't know why that they started doing it for every holiday. They started doing it for uh, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, July Fourth, Yom Kippur, and uh, and and his coworker, and, his wife was like, "You are not allowed to go he to was not house. allowed to go." And he he did go, and we would call him and, like when he would call her to pick him up. He actually called her to pick him up from Winghouse one time, and she was oh, so God. mad because we asked the waitress to come over when he was on the phone with her to say, hi, Talon, thanks so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, so uh, Winghouse would, they would have that, and the the costumes would start, you know, they'd be like Wonder Woman and, you know, like, like you know, slutty Wonder Woman, slutty detective, slutty doctor. And then it came down to literally one one time for Christmas, one of the girls just had like a ribbon across here and was wearing like a thong and we were like is this a strip club now <laughs> like i'm okay By definition, yes <laughs> because because somehow we also i don't know it wasn't good on the food. it Should wasn't good food great like i i swear to god this is not a playboy thing john but i was there for the wings i was so there my that. boss was offering to buy me wings and i was like fucking boneless blackened wings They're i love really these wings. wings also 
great. This is nice. And I would always vote for our waitress because I'm like, why would you vote for your waitress? What kind of dick is like, she's better than you. <laughs> Thank you for all the service you've given us, but I'm voting for her. That's what the tips are for, Pat. You you got to be a fair and honest judge. Now I got to tell you which it's one's true. the hottest. Also, which one has the most monetary value? What's next, John? Which one of you? gave the best service? Yeah, well. I don't know. Not that. No back room. <laughs> but it's it's so, it's fun. You should go to a hooter or to a wing house because they also have like, you know, basketball and pool and stuff. You can I love that back. you said that you were there for the food because so after Wing Bowl, the big tradition was the strip club in Philly did a breakfast buffet. So when you were done, you went to this to I think it was Delilah's in Philly. And I kid you not, the best bacon I've ever eaten in my life. I don't even know if there were nude women there. I was just hovering over a right. bacon buffet. Oh. I ate and then just I, like my cousin and I went and we both were like, I got to go home and go to bed. It ended at 11 a.m. was the end of this. So event. 4 a.m. <laughs> to 11 a.m. 4 a.m. You booze it up in the parking lot. Yeah. 7 a.m. They let you in. But what they don't tell you is they can't serve booze till 8 a.m. legally, I guess. Uh -huh. So it's just an hour of drunk horny dudes without beer and they're just i love that manny joined in right this right drunk, yeah, drunk yeah, yeah. Beer. <laughs> hey, Manny's without here. beer and they are just livid yeah. the line is like ridiculous there's also guys that would bring their girlfriends to this like that would be like honey we're going to wing bowl and it would just be a, a whole yeah. arena full of dudes chanting show your tits oh like, my who god bring their loved one to this like <laughs> Uh, uh, Ian brings up a great point. Uh, I think we both have traits of this to some extent, but we are literally Ron Swanson. Yep. We yeah. are the people that are like, thank you for the nudity, but I'm here for the food. <laughs> but, uh, I appreciate it. That's great. And if it, if it's there, that's just a, honestly, it's just a happy coincidence. Honestly, I, is there, is, we, I really do enjoy I wanna, wings too. Don, uh, uh, mom's got a great idea. She says quite skimpy outfits, uh, scandalous, not lying. Uh, the next time you're in town, we'll have to go. Okay. So, honestly, I I want to wait till the next holiday. <laughs> Whatever it is. I really want it to be weird like Arbor Day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let's so see. while you're looking, I'll tell St. you a Patty's. Fun story. St. Patrick's about, Day. Oh, oh I'm my sure that's God, not dude. wild there at all. You got the right headband on. <laughs> and they're it. open. Like they yeah. are open for business. They're oh, wild. Florida, yeah. Wild. Yeah. They're <laughs> One wide girl, open. you know, a girl's going to come out with just masks over just masks. her head. Just two <laughs> surgical masks. Just masks. And then it's going to be like one of those things of like great wings. Like, all right, cool. You know, but I, I, it's definitely mugs and jugs out of those two are, are I, the better. And those are a ton of breading. Um, but the sauce is so good. I love mugs and jugs. My, I'm like salivating. I'm so hungry. So this is those. not uh, wing related, but it is jug related. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was when I used to I used to work like doing sales for Verizon and like in a podunk area of South Jersey, which believe it or not, there's many. There was this like random bar. We went in to like talk to them about changing their plan, whatever it was. One of like the regulars that was there at 11 a.m. was like, oh, you guys got to come back for lunch tomorrow. I was like, all right, whatever. So we happen to be in the area. I was like, ah, oh, let's swing in. As we're walking in on the sign, it's just like bikini lunch is all it said. I was like, oh, I see why. <laughs> we get in there and not the funny part was like, all right, well, we're in the door. Might as well sit down. Not attractive at all. Bartender comes over in a bikini and she's like, do you guys want to eat? And the same guy who was there the day before was like, they'll have the pepperoni pizza. And I was like, all right, man, if he recommends pepperoni pizza, she comes back out with just a cheese pizza. And we are like, all right, where are the pepperonis? He starts laughing his ass off. Bikini gets untied and the pepperonis are just over her nipples. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I Wait thought, for I it. thought like... she then shook and they fell onto the pizza. <laughs> Two pepperonis. We ate every other slice, but the ones those touched. I was oh, just you like, ate the pizza? Oh, oh the yeah, pizza, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, the part, you know, it was only two pepperonis. They fell in random spots dude that's still by the way I, not I, I, a bad pizza by the way it was probably just a tombstone pizza that yeah. <laughs> that's not a bad pizza that is infuriating and disgusting <laughs> like it's bad enough like we yeah I, I i i don't even take like okay so yes i am a sink peer my name is pat hi but i i also feel like i'm a person that will never bring anything that i'm drinking or eating into the bathroom 
like unless it's got a full cover and or I can change the straw. Like if it's got a lid and it's got a thing where there's no, but even then I probably will still throw it away. I bring my coffee with me every day. Dude, I, I, it's a weird thing just because I me know too. it's in the air. It, like if I'm pissing there, it's going to splash out of the, It's you know what I mean? Like just like, I don't want to drop yeah. out of piss. It's so fucking weird, but I'm somebody who will, has not, but will admittedly, I would eat at a strip club. If the, if somebody was like, the food's awesome here. I would go there for the food or if they're like, buying you lunch, we're going to a strip club. I'm not going to go. I'm not eating here. I'll eat anywhere if it's free. And that's, that's yeah. the thing where I'm like, wait a minute. I've eaten at waffle houses. How dare I not drink my own piss? Yeah. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> that's true. What kind of human am I? You, you probably drink other people's piss at waffle house. Absolutely. Yeah. You somehow probably drink your own. They just got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Casey's saying I've eaten a, a, a few shower burgers. I'm not proud of it. I'm I'm proud of that. That's awesome. Shower eating I'm a shower at, burger sounds uh, like a dirty sex term. A shower yeah. burger? Yeah, I was like a shower burger. What is I that? Was I was just a shower thinking, burger last night. Is it now? Is it? I'm just wondering the technique. Is it like a like it's right here on the the like on the ledge, like on the shelf or something? A burger is not a crying. shower meal. Just no. crying in the shower. <laughs> yeah, you have to. That's how I shower I beers. That. I'm all for shower beers. They're the greatest possible thing ever. Kyle Kinane calls it a spa day. <laughs> you take three beers in the shower with you. Three. And you just stand there like an old vet with your arm on the wall, just thinking about what you did. <laughs> One of the best Kyle Kinane bits. I think of it because once a month I'll have myself a spa day on like a Saturday afternoon. I'm like, I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> this is a hot shower. Tastes like fries and piss. Just, flies and piss, yo. <laughs> That's from Jane's other Bob. <laughs> no, I Clark's, just love Clark's the too. flip side of that. If so, this woman shook pepperonis off her boobs under our pizza. We ate around them. If there yeah, was an establishment where a guy came out with a hot dog sticking out of his zipper and flipped it onto a bun, it would make national news. <laughs> this was just a Tuesday in Magnolia, New Jersey. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I honestly, I feel like this is uh, weird. By the way, it's uh, you never leave your hand and there's no hair washing. So it's a one handed shower is what she's saying. Right. That's essentially yeah. what yeah, we're yeah, okay. yeah. And also I Ron's forget, saying like, shower coffee is good too. Shaped. Yeah. Right. Like I'd be like, like forget, washing my like... face. <laughs> oh yeah. You would do that once. You just need to bring it in once for one chest swipe. Yeah. Just one, one across the chest and you're, <laughs> you're like, like, Oh, oh God God damn it. it. <laughs> now I got to rewash that part. I can't eat the rest of this cause it's got some soap on it. I'm fucked. Yeah. I've, I've done yeah. that. I've done that enough time to where actually, I don't know if I've eaten or drinking, drank anything in the, not in the shower. No. I don't think so, but I—I I mean, I'm not against. Oh, that. Have yourself a pet. Before we speak again, have yourself a shower seltzer, and oh, so good. Oh, <laughs> oh. chug it. Uh, do you have a bet also, by the way, for uh, uh, for who you think is gonna who's our, who's pissing our bed? I'm gonna bet it's Manny. Oh, That's yeah. just my guess. Wild card, <laughs> wild card, Manny bet. Yeah. How much? Manny wants bet? you to get really angry at one of the cats and look to give it away. And then he'll be like, oh, I guess I'll take the cat. So he's been pissing oh. on your head so that he can get a free cat. Oh, diabolical. Okay, so how much do you want to bet that it's me? Pat, diabolical, spell it. D-I-A-B-O-L-I-C-A-L. He's right. I'm not going to look it up, but we're going to say right. It's either that or it's diabetical. Uh, <laughs> how, how much do you want to bet on a... Uh, I want to get diabetes now, so I can just always make that joke. Oh, I'm diabetical. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm diabetical. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> I, got, I got diabeticals, uh, you know. So, all right. So, are you putting money on Manny? Do you want to put a dollar? Five dollars. I'll throw a dollar on Manny. Right, I'll throw a dollar on Manny, and then also just tell Manny, I'll, I'll, Manny, I'll give you five dollars. The next time you're at Pat's house, you just piss on his bed. <laughs> so Manny, and <laughs> so just he, honestly, we got another roughly twenty-seven minutes of the show. I mean, I'm sure he can make it here in time, piss on the bed, and get out the door before we notice it. Uh, I, the door should all be locked. Yeah, he yeah, could be down there peeing be. right now. You don't know. Oh my That's god, Manny has a camera. No, we will. We will know. He doesn't know there's a camera. The camera, right? He's dressed up as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think this is okay? Do you want to? So, do you think this is a ploy to get uh, Stanley or Chloe? He doesn't really like Chloe that much. No, he wants. He Stanley. probably wants Stanley. Yeah, so he's. Of I'll, he I'll throw my real bet is that it's Chloe Poke. It's probably oh. Chloe Poke. Okay. 
Same but bet though. Side bet, Manny. Okay. <laughs> For double or nothing, Manny. <laughs> yeah. That, that's right, like I'll the, let you go. I'm gonna like head out. Flip. I got a lunch being called. Ooh, lunch. Love Ooh you guys. nice. Lunch is being called. All right. Love you too. Tiger see you Woods, soon. you're in a prayers. Did you wait? Did you see that people are Please. posting red squares for okay. Tiger Woods? Red squares red because squares. of his shirt? Oh. No. So Tiger's thing is on Sundays he wears red. It's like ever since he was on tour, uh, championship Sundays. So people are posting red squares like we support Tiger Woods. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that's like I want a color square. You All should right. do that. You should. It's brown. Just, All right, yeah. see you guys. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. Bye, buddy. I did the hang up thing, but he didn't let yeah. me hang up on him because, you know, he had so much more uh, poignant things to say. So uh, so now we officially have uh, Casey is betting $5 on Chloe. Uh, John is betting $1 on Chloe or possibly Manny. This, this, this could be a side bet. Yeah. Uh, Casey is in support of Tiger Woods as well. She posted her red square. That's good. She's honestly, she's always on the right side of history. This Casey. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, Ma, I don't know if you would like to bet on if you think it is Chloe or Stanley. But before the show, we were explaining to everybody uh, right before the show. I set up a camera in our room to capture whoever the piss culprit, whoever's been peeing on our bed to finally get an answer because I was terrorizing clopoke last night when uh somebody pissed on our bed when we had a really good day yeah we had a fucking good day I think that's what was most upsetting was like they were kind of playing together a little yeah like we i was playing with both of them in front of each other that was a good thing yeah but uh but Woo. but right now we so technic so don is the only one betting on stanley right now she's the only one that is is assuming that it is stanley but if you want to get your piss bets in we are going to find out I'm today like, i'm tempted to go down there right now and check if anyone's done it well I, there's no way i can find out before the end of the show unless i i mean right. i can't really no I, yeah. yeah yeah but i mean it's exciting uh oh here we go ah five on lord stanley from ron we got five dollars on lord stanley from premium ron i want to make sure i make a note of that premium ron uh, me and Dom are gonna win. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, you could. I mean, it's in it. And remember, he hasn't been fixed yet. He hasn't been fixed yet. This, these are the parameters. Here's, here's the betting lines. All right, Chloe, technically has had a, a history of pissing. Okay, behavioral pissing. Behavioral pissing, which she knows she's not the biggest Stanley fan. We all know that. It's been very clear. She is not a fan of Stanley. She's not a fan of Stanley. So, if it is the fact that she doesn't like that Stanley gets to sleep in bed with us. Mm -hmm. Then that's one thing. But if it's Stanley just pissing, this could be this is this is going to give us answers on how we react to this. If right. I can continue to terrorize or who I should terrorize. Right. Or if I'm I OK should terrorize. with the terrorizing. OK, I just feel bad. That's unhealthy. It could be <laughs> it could be misdirected. And I just don't want her to be terrorized for something that he's could possibly be doing you just want the punishment laid Fair. down on the correct yes, kitty cat but in all. the meantime let's make some money off them yeah you know what i mean yeah because right now because we're spending a lot of money on them a lot of fucking money <laughs> in detergent and bleach and goddamn water time and what i don't give a fuck about the water i mean water is a commodity yeah. that you know sustainability babe yeah you're global right warming. honestly we're doing everything else we can to try to help yeah you're right global warming uh, honestly, did you see the thing about Texas think thinking the snow was fake? No, you didn't see that. No, there was like a couple. I saw I watched a couple of the videos and it's a person holding a hairdryer up to the snow. And because they don't see it dripping or like instantly melting in their hand, they're like, this seat's fake government snow. Another guy picked up some snow and like, like went like that. See that doesn't even make your hand wet government snow. I was like, wait a minute. Is, is this a real thing? Like what I thought, idiots. I thought well, I, it's hard to tell what satire anymore. Right, right, right. So I don't know if this was like a meme, like the Tide Pod mm -hmm. thing where like people were like, oh, yeah, get it. We all like Tide Pods. <laughs> That's the joke. And then like some assholes actually did it. Yeah. I don't know if is this a thing where like this is a legitimate people actually believe that the snow is fake. They also like were holding like uh, lighters up to it and like it was burning the snow. But it's like it's an effect. It's a it's a actual like a scientific or they were complaining that the snow was because it wasn't turning from a solid to a liquid to a gas that they're saying from a liquid to a gas 
that they were saying that it was fake or from a solid to a gas, sorry. And scientists were like, no, it's a process called blah, blah, blah. Like it's this whole thing. I, I, you know, you know me, I like to indulge in a nice conspiracy theory from time to time. But like, that was one where I'm like, I, I think it's just like, wasn't it cold too? Yeah, like, it was really cold. <laughs> I, I, I just don't, it, Texas is such a big state that if like the majority of whatever, but yeah. they thought it was like some plan to shut their power down. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the actual, I, I just heard that people in Texas were saying the snow was fake. And I heard some of the, uh, reactions to it so i like looked it up and i watched one of the videos and i was like i heard about it first sorry on uh through my timeline somebody posted mm -hmm. a story and didn't share their opinion about it so i was also like where is this person staying on it yeah and then i read the story and i was like i don't know yeah like what are you doing man yeah i don't know stupid. but when the, the one video i saw see government snow doesn't even make your hand wet i was like i, I almost wanted to go outside and be like does Snow makes your hand wet, but yeah. like I think it's like if it's super fluffy, or if it's not, yeah, you know there's I mean? different like, like there's yeah. consistency of some snow. And then I was like, wait a minute, stop, stop thinking like them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it, but it's like it's that scary that like somebody that won't take that extra step to go like wait, 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 stop, stop. Like there's different consistencies. Sometimes snow doesn't make your hand wet. This guy's not a snow scientist. Yeah. You aren't either. Let's just stop. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Casey saying, would you consider only letting Chloe sleep in uh, with you until they become buds? She doesn't like that's the thing yeah. is she's never really slept with us every once in a while. She'll like kind of lay on Pat, get some pets and then she's gone. Right. But when Stanley's on the bed and then she gets in the bed and she hisses and it's a whole thing. So it's more of like, I don't want to do it, but I also don't want you to do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it's like, so that's a it's like it, it, Dobby used to sleep with us and she didn't. Yeah. She ne like she would come in for some pets and then be like, all right, peace out. And then and usually later on, he would come in like mm -hmm. they wouldn't be on the bed together. No. So that that's they just got to get their timing right. Yeah. Essentially, really, that's all it is. They we have to all get our routines down correctly. But in the meantime, we got to also stop the pissing. You see, because the pissing doesn't fucking help our routine. Um, uh, we got uh, Ron saying that sounds like 4chan jokes that yeah. uh, get uploaded to real news. Okay, For yeah, sure. yeah, maybe that could be it. Then 4chan laughs that people think Texans don't believe in snow. Yeah, yeah. okay. So that's what I was saying. It's like I don't know if it's like ridiculous, but it's still there are people that will take that it was as through fact. TikTok too. I think by the way, yeah. I think it was TikTok. So, so I don't have a TikTok. Yeah, I was just gonna say, do you have TikTok? No. Yeah, I did. I don't either. I think Baby Mermaid Productions had one for a little bit, but I, I don't. I mean, we. I did make one. Yeah. And then I tried posting stuff, and I was just like, I don't. I just don't, don't care about it. this yeah. media. Yeah. <laughs> like one of those things that, like, I, I, I may be, admittedly, maybe not the best marketer, maybe they're not the best uh, uh, as, as far as social media at yeah. all times. Let's just say I'm not even a big fan of it. Uh, yeah. Been very clear about that. Uh, thanks, Facebook. Uh, thanks, Instagram. <laughs> but, uh, but I also like, I like, admittedly, I gotta, I gotta know my strengths. My strengths yeah. is uh, a lot of times are either going to be uh, me talking, just whatever I can just talk through is whatever. And I don't think TikTok is one of those things. So fuck it. I don't mm -hmm. care. And I'm yeah. not dancing. <laughs> like when people are like, try a dance. I'm like, I don't even want that. <laughs> I don't even want that kind of attention. I don't want to do it good and have people like it. And I don't want it to be bad and have people like yeah. it. I don't want to do it. Yeah. I don't dance. I dance in what are the occasions, Dominique? Um, generally at a wedding. Generally at a wedding. Because you're you're drunk. And um, it's Justin Timberlake or Michael Jackson. That's it. That's it. Or now Bruno. also Bruno yes, Mars. Bruno yes, Bruno Mars, Mars has is also added. now been added. Those are my but personal even slappy then, bottoms. It's, it's hard. You got to coax. It's pretty hard for me to get you to you dance. You got to coax. It's not, it's not easy because, look, if I'm just out there dancing like every other dickhead, it gets boring and gets lost in there. Once I dance, it's a show. <laughs> and, it's, and I'm not going to give a show. it. I'm not going to give it away. You for danced free. at our wedding. Yeah, I mean, course. you were wasted. We had to. Everybody yeah. was watching. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it and you did a really good job and you weren't like, oh, I want to do this. Right. Like you you participated very it, well. It's one of those things. It's like a chosen. It's like a it's like a so you know how people say like you have selective hearing. I have like selective yeah. autism. Yeah. Like when I'm like, I don't want to be around people. I'm autistic. And like <laughs> other times I'm like, I'm not autistic right now. 
not yet. And it's usually with yes. alcohol. <laughs> yes, that's very true. Maybe I don't know if they've tried this yet, and I'm I'm sure John would be a fan. I know he wants me to keep it my name out of his mouth when I talk about this stuff, but have they tried alcohol? What do you my mean? dancing is funny is what my brother says. Nick Nick says that my dancing is funny. It's everything you, about you is funny. It's usually not meant to. Well, actually, it usually is because I because honestly, yeah. to be completely transparent with everybody, genuine Pat's here. Uh, I I uh, Scott dance. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I was just talking about this on uh, uh, with uh, Andy about this on what about with Andy and Pat or Pat and Andy. Sorry, I forgot. That's the right way to say it. Uh, whenever I couldn't skank. I could not skank because every time that's, uh, I know, that's the, I know. It's just funny. I couldn't do it because every time I tried, I ended up just skipping around the pit. Yeah. I didn't have the coordination. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I would just, and I was just a big fat lumbering dickhead. That's like <laughs> running around the, and I was wearing boots and boots are heavy. Yeah. So like, if you don't know what skanking is, skanking is essentially where you bring your knees up to your, mm-hmm. your chest kind of, and you like, it's almost like the Carlton dance. But, kind of, but even lamer. Yes, like it's so weird, right? But liquid like, encouragement. It's like the it's like the hot uh the what's it called the hardcore dance where they like they do the yeah like you're throwing like they're stuff. throwing yeah. tissues in the air <laughs> yeah. and, like and they're throwing their arms around and then you're uh, yeah yeah windmill like, like if you do yeah. it right it's it's the exact same way that that uh, I am with improv like it's got to be too perfect yeah or or not like it or it's yes. like or it's shit. It's yeah. that absolute shit. So um, I would just end up like skipping around the pit. I have no coordination like that. But a lot of times I think I honestly feel like dancing. All dancing is silly. It's all funny. It all looks ridiculous. We watched uh, it. We watch uh, dancing with. Uh, no, not dancing. No. What's so you think one? you can dance. So you think you can dance. Yeah. And, and they all think they can dance. And I was rooting for the tap room. Yeah, you running, always love the. Tappers. I always like tap dancers. So I'm like, let's see how they do against. And those, I love the lyrical. And he's those, like, what is this shit? This thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and that's how it's supposed to be. That's what they're doing. She doesn't laugh at them. Why doesn't she laugh at them? <laughs> That's I what cry I'm when they do it. I'm like, right. that's so beautiful. It's not. It's the same thing I just <laughs> no. did. It's this. Well, because no, they have emotion. They're connected to the music and they're telling a story. You're just making fun of them. That's uh, it's the same movements, though. That's yes. what I'm saying. It's the same noises. A fart <laughs> is a fart, whether a senator does it or whether a fucking comedian does it. It's a fart. The fart is the funniest thing. The motion of them throwing themselves all around the 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 stage well and the trust when and that's have, to like, be dancing and then this other lady comes out with these the the special shoes she has to wear to dance yeah and goes to like fucking j-lo or some shit and yeah. you're like that's amazing yeah because that's and there, it's it's just a little bit different because it's i'm auditioning music. it's like musical as well that's it i'm auditioning like, Next, next, when everything opens back you up, you just said you didn't want to be popular I, for I don't, give it, but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, hey guys, they're gonna go. So, what makes you think you can do it? I've never danced ever before. I've d- I do it when so I'm drunk. You think you can dance, and it'll be then it'll be a beer opening. And it'll be <laughs> like, yep, I think I do. <laughs> Chug, I think I can, <laughs> and then just start going, yeah, yeah, did it. Why didn't you cheer? It was a great job. Thank you. I'll make her cry for a different reason. <laughs> Instead of her going, that's my husband. She goes, that's my husband. Oh my God. He said he doesn't dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to. Sh- it's the exact same movements. No matter what. I'll be a star. But not on You're TikTok. I think, do they get paid? They don't get paid to be contestants on that. Right. You only get paid if you win. Correct. But and then you, you get paid you, in exposure. Ch- right, right, right. You, you're, the exposure is also beneficial. That'll just lead them to the, the podcast and it'll be all like all dance fans will be like, awesome. We're going to check him out. Like, he's cool. And then they're going to be like, oh, no, actually, <laughs> nobody would. No dance fan would check me out and go, oh, cool. He's a good dancer. I'm going to check out his Instagram. Yeah. And then go. They're going to pound off and say, you need to stop doing. That. But in all honesty and and. All right. So. We, we watch a lot of those com- competition shows and every once in a while they'll have like the heartwarming story, mm-hmm. which is nice. I like a heartwarming story, but 
and I and this goes for uh, the heartwarming clip I see a lot of time on Instagram. I just recently one going around that I've seen was uh, John Jones sparring with uh, with someone who had uh, uh, some some kind of disability. I don't know what it was necessarily some kind of condition, let's say mm -hmm. like a, like where their motor skills weren't great or what, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've also seen Diego Sanchez uh, in, in a ring at an event with a uh, somebody with down syndrome mm -hmm. and they spar. So in that case, it was a live event. There were fights happening. It was a sanctioned licensed event. And in, in the fight, you know, it's them messing around and then he takes a loss. Does he take that loss? You know, when you see a heartwarming story of like high school wrestler takes on kid with spi spina bifida and lets him win or whatever. And like the whole crowd cheers and they go, this is heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Does he take that loss? It's an it's a sanctioned event. The referee's there. Yeah. Everything else. Does he take the loss and the kid gets it? Like, does that go on his record? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say if it's a sanctioned fight, if it's just a. Charity. That affects, that affects your charity paycheck. No, thing. that affects contract uh, negotiations. If that's important to you, then don't take that fight. Okay, yeah, I just, I just didn't know that uh, any of those situations because a lot of times I feel like I could be the heartwarming story on. So you think you could dance? Gotcha. He's not a dancer. He's very. That could be another situation where I go like, I feel like you know, like. If it's a sanctioned fight, if you're saying this counts, this will go on your record, then whatever happens happens and if you let them win, i've seen john jones lose to and by the way actually john jones and the john jones ones he was not letting him win he was just doing the movements with him but he still was like spinning elbow but he's just doing it real slow and right like, this right. is where i'd crush you here's where i break your fucking arm here <laughs> 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 it's like all the shit it was like with with the diego sanchez one even though there was a whole crowd there and everybody was like oh this is great blah 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 there's literally it, i i wouldn't be scared you know what I mean? I wouldn't be nervous if if it was John Jones, even knowing it was fun. John Jones still did that thing where he like he crawled across to start the fight. Yeah. I was like, uh, <laughs> I'd, be like uh, I'd still be terrified. <laughs> but the kid's trying to like kick him and shit and the the and like but he's just like blocking all the shit. Uh -huh. it, it's just I, I when they when they say, what you ready? You ready? Like they do the whole thing. It's like a make a wish. Right. It, uh, think of a make a wish thing. But then that's not a sanctioned fight. Then that's not a fight that counts. So, but it is because they're con they're contract. Like I, I guess that's the thing is they probably not. Yeah, is UFC they, doing it or is Make no, a Wish no, no, doing no. it? No, 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 it's it's not. It's like a it's like another event. Yeah, then it doesn't like count. The then that doesn't count, and you do whatever. But you want in to do. the wrestling thing, high school wrestling events. There's high school and college wrestling events or collegiate. Yeah, I just said that collegiate. Uh, I don't know. And they say like, oh, it's like a. It's like their their person, they're you know, they they come in and they say like uh this kid I, I can't I can't think of the exact uh condition that I'm thinking of. Yeah. But it's a, a condition where like they're they they aren't able to compete probably at that level, like legitimately. Mm -hmm. And not to demean any of them or anything like that or any to be ableist whatsoever. I just seriously don't know, does that actually go as a win loss? like on their on their record yeah i don't know you know yeah because it's not i'm saying it's 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 great it's it's nice to see it's good to give them that feeling it's like when they hand the kid the football and then they all let them run into the the mm -hmm. end zone and they go cool you did it yeah they put the points on the board those points count you know what i mean like does the other team go like all right well guys we got to get those points back by the way <laughs> this is still uh this is still a game uh yeah. that we need to win if we want to get to the to states yeah cool well, he's got usually, his touchdown we're all happy now well, let's get him off the field let's get that seven usually points usually what will happen and like we watch the competition shows and i heavily watch competition shows um if there's like family involved or like rupaul's drag race they'll like um they'll bring in um people and then they put them in drag and then those episodes, nobody goes home because they're like, okay, yeah, we yeah. can't like everyone did such a good job as participation. The whole but the next episode, two people are going <laughs> yeah. home. We got to catch up. <laughs> we got to catch That's up. What I'm saying. This is fun. That's like, the reality of it. That's a perfect uh, uh, analogy of what I was saying. Like, yeah. In the football game, you're like, cool. Everybody had fun. We all had a heartwarming thing. But everybody a learned something. <laughs> and that, yeah, but they don't get the re like they get like they, they say, this is the game is still 
part of like your win loss record. And a lot of those high school games, they can be tight. Like they get those conferences and shit. Like that means something to those kids. Yeah. Like if there was, if I was a kid on the other, if I was a punter on the other team, I'd be like, why are we letting him get a touchdown? Yeah. Like, can we just let him get a first down? He's going to feel great. And if you cheer louder, he's going to think it's a touchdown. He'll yeah. feel like it's a touchdown. If you go, yes, that was the most important first yeah. down ever. I don't think that exists. Carry him off the field. I don't think they do that. I think that's like what do they negotiate saying. that ahead games of time. like that aren't competitions anymore they don't keep score anymore they like no, those no, no, matches no. slash fights are e- exhibition so that because you can't you right you can't you, you can't, can't give that. them the win you can't, can't give them count. the win you can't it's not charity you right. can't give them the win why don't you just give them the win what does it mean to you? Like, like give them a legitimate. But if you like, just said it does count, that's not fair to the other team. It's not. But no. OK. In the football sense, I'm saying in the fighter sense, it's one person against another person. If they say, you know, then I, I think that's up to them because maybe they're uh, like, yeah, I don't care that I have. And again, one it's not loss. a UFC. It's not a it's not even Bellator or anything like that. Right. It's like literally like then a who gives a fuck? local event that they're probably doing for charity. And if it's charity, who gives a fuck? Let them win. It right. doesn't matter. But then let them win and then now officially in their pro fighting career does that actually that's what that's the question that i had yeah and it's and it's an unpopular question because i'm not i'm not saying anything but i'm saying yeah just give them the win if you want that's the charity of it the charity is yeah saying in in all history john jones (laughs) right in the his yeah he beat john jones like but john jones his record technically is still he's undefeated but i've seen him lose yeah, but he lost on purpose. Oh, it's different. It's different. Know. You just put it on there because that's that's the gesture. You saying you saying here's a card is not the gesture. You write it. What you write inside the card is the gesture. Right, but there's always going to be an asterisk with that because it's not in the same lane. It's not the same competition. Mm-hmm. You're comparing apples and oranges. Mm-hmm. What are you calling them? Apples and oranges. It's mm-hmm. different. Okay, I don't know. It's very different. There's no. I I'm just hey hey. I'm just asking, you know, Mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to, and I'm honestly, I just want, I just want to know because when I see, when I see something like that, usually at a, at a, and at an event like that, a big event like that, a wrestling competition or something like that, where it does, it is actually, or a football game, there's somebody on the other team. That's probably going to be like, can we just like give them like a really good punt return that I, you know what I mean? Like, or something like give them a good call, let them be quarterback and he throws it to somebody else, and then we then yeah, then we play again. Then we start back up, like right at that point. Once, as soon as he catches the ball, we go all normal speed again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would be the person that like we're I'm here to compete. I would like to com- continue to compete, and I would love to to stage this another time because I feel like that's all it is is just a a staged thing that's good and it's to do good and to show other people's good, but also just so we know, does this count? Mm-hmm. And I think in like I said in the football uh, game it it, uh, it goes on there. For uh, Brock Lesnar uh was 104 and 1 in college wrestling. Uh that loss uh a kid with sco- scoliosis who wrapped around him <laughs> like a snake. Like a snake. I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know actually who is undefeated and in the wrestling hall of fame? I found this out uh I heard a trivia question so it's not I did not do the research or anything, but uh, do you know what politician is also in the Wrestling Hall of Fame uh, as an undefeated wrestler? Trump? No. (laughs) But again, yes. uh, But yes, Donald Trump is in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Shout out to Manny and his wonderful joke. Uh, We are aware of that. No, it's actually Abraham Lincoln. Really? Abraham Lincoln was a uh, undefeated uh, wrestler in his time and is in the, I believe, the the literal wrestling mm-hmm. hall of fame, not the W. See, that's right, the right. trick part of it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, that's a good, you know who uh, wrote that question? Uh, was, I was watching Never Not Funny yeah. it was, or listening to it. And it was uh, his his son came up with that. Yeah. Isn't that a good question? His son is so amazing. Yeah. 13 years old. He's a fuck. He's going to be. I don't know if that's if this is going to be another lane of child stars, but I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like podcasters, kids, 
<laughs> because they use them a lot. It's like radio show kids or radio show families. You don't know a lot about their families a lot of times. Yeah. They may refer to the wife, but they don't oftentimes like yeah. show their kids on on uh, any kind of public appearance or anything like that. I mean, they may have them at things, but podcast kids like uh, in him, especially like he has him like write them trivia questions. He talks about their life a lot. It's very and has him now has actually had him on the show quite a few times. Yeah. Um, what that actually what kind of effect they may have on kids reality well like he what? just hosted didn't he just host or he's on a game show his son oh yeah yeah he was on uh so, so yeah i guess that's the thing is like is this a new lane of child yeah child star yeah. like podcast child well star. youtubers this is like the same idea our kitty cats you know our kitty cats you excited to go find out if anybody pissed yet yeah let's go see now it. it's kind of fun we turn it into a fun thing now we get to find out who terrorizes. And this is the last call for any bets. Anybody that wants to place a bet on which one of our kitty cats is pissing in our bed. I set up a secret camera before the show. Uh, we're going to find out. But I did say when today. he was putting it up, it's on Chloe's dresser, my dresser. Um, but if you put things on it that she doesn't like, she'll just knock it off. So I said, there is a possibility. This may take a couple days because she may have knocked it off. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> she may be like, may what is this? It. No, this might, this might have to be like one of those things where like they, uh, they try to catch like a, 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 a like a business. They have to like put a hide a, a hidden camera in. Somewhere. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll see. We'll so see. officially we'll right now, our bets that we have, we have, uh, Casey's bet $5 on Clopoke. John has bet one dollar on possibly Manny, but definitely Clopoke. Um, and you have put five dollars on uh, Stanley. And Premium Ron Barinro has also placed five dollars on Young Lord Stanley. And a every bet is bet for bet. Uh, this is fun. I hope there is no people. Yeah, honestly, uh, you yes. Too. I mean, that would be the ultimate. And, and in that case, everybody keeps their. Everybody's money. a winner. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if, if anybody has no, the please, bets, please. Uh, we obviously in uh, all bets, I guess, are open. Technically, I guess you can DM me if you have a yeah. if you, you want to do any more research. You have until we post it. You, yeah, you have until we all. Oh, I'm like wife a, underscore George. So if you want to DM take me, take the foil uh, to a trash bag to trash bags. What does that mean? Tape the foil to trash bags. To put on the bed. But still. But still wasting it. Yeah. Yeah. She's just worried about the waste of it. That's. All. I just we use. I don't know. I use a lot of aluminum foil. And it's just really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I use it a lot. <laughs> Conserve the foil. Yeah. So like oh, so that you oh, could like, like reuse there's, it. There's couple or also that there's different elements to it. No, I think I don't know. I I think more that, uh, the noise of it. So if you have the aluminum foil. Yeah. Plus the trash bags. Yeah. It. I think it's the noise. We'll find out. We'll Who knows? See. I'm about to piss my pants. Uh, so we love you guys. Thanks love so much. Love you. Gross.